Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody via email question how they could put, they need 150 diamonds around the circle. They didn't tell me how big the circle is and it doesn't matter. I've got 150 diamonds no matter what size I make it. So you could start with a diamond and rotate it, but how are you going to know? You know, you have to know the length of the diamond, you know, divided by, I mean, it's a hundred and it's 200 or 2.4 degree of an angle. But if you set your polygon tool on 150 sides, hold down the control button to make a perfect polygon, hit P to put it in the center of the page. Now you have a 150 sided polygon, but we need to do this. We need to click on it and control D and make a duplicate of it. Then let's zoom in here. We're going to take one of them, and I've got my nudge factor set on 0.1. Here's the other set. I'm going to get that middle, and it does it there. So that's all I need that for to get that shape, to get that side. I could get rid of everything now because I just need that. Double-click, move the center rotation to the center. 149 times at 2.4 angle because we've already got one. And then you have 150 stars, stars, diamonds. And it's ironic, I've been doing a lot of diamond work lately. But they're individually, they would engrave. And you could do that with a lot of, well, I don't know about a lot of different shapes, but uh, that would definitely help you save you a lot of time. And that would be a pretty neat border. One thing good about it, it is a fill, so it's, you know, it doesn't get, you know, out of proportion. It'll be the same proportion. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. Thank you for.